Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we're going to be discussing something interesting that you can find on LEGO's official website regarding the new Ninjago crystallized sets. Now, of course, as of the time of recording this video, we still do not have official images from LEGO directly regarding these new sets. The sets do appear on LEGO's website, but not in the shop section. You cannot go ahead and see how much these sets are going to cost. You can't see the details on this set, and half the images that LEGO does have on their website are preliminary images with the huge confidential stamp over them. So for the sake of my channel's safety, I'm not going to be able to show any images of the sets in today's video until we actually get them officially on LEGO's shop portion of their website. But we still do have set descriptions. Descriptions for each one of the new sets that are going to be coming out in the summer of 2022. Now the set descriptions themselves are kind of all over the place, but there's one in particular that I do want to look at in today's video, which may in fact reveal a certain plot point that's going to be happening during Ninjago Crystallized, revolving around the Overlord and his plan. The set description in question is for set number 71769, Cole's Dragon Cruiser, and the description reads as follows. I'll show it to you on your screen and just read through it really quick. Launch into an epic battle in Cole's Dragon Cruiser. The evil serpentine general Asphira has stolen Kai's elemental weapon and you need to win it back. Whoa, but where the Vengestone Brute and his dangerous crystals fight back with speed and power by transforming the cruiser into a golden dragon attack mode. Only you can stop the ninja's enemies turning everyone in Ninjago City into zombies. So yeah, the zombie portion of that description caught my eye because in terms of the Overlord and zombies, we saw something similar to that all the way back during Ninjago Season 2, Legacy of the Green Ninja, especially during the last episode of that season. In case you guys don't remember, there was a huge sequence, it was a pretty big deal, in which the Overlord's dark matter would turn a lot of Ninjago City's citizens into mindless zombies. The ninja returned to Ninjago City to find out that the entire place had been overrun with dark matter matter, and as such, several of the Ninjago City civilians had turned into zombies. And eventually, the ninja themselves got corrupted when attempting to all face the Overlord as one distinct unit. As I'm sure a lot of you guys know, the main villain of Ninjago Crystallized will in fact be the Overlord, or as he's known right now, the Crystal King. The reason why many Ninjago fans are just assuming the Crystal King is the Overlord is that the Overlord's symbol, the Overlord's insignia, can be found in many places throughout this new wave. Every returning villain wears a symbol of the Overlord on their armor, and in terms of the Crystal King himself, yes, the symbol can be spotted on him as well. And also, the Temple of the Crystal King includes the symbol additionally. So I think it's safe to say that the Overlord is in fact the Crystal King, the Crystal King and the Overlord are the exact same person. And since zombies in the Ninjago universe have been referenced again in these new crystallized set descriptions, I think the Overlord is attempting to remake his plan from Season 2. Turn all the citizens into mindless zombies, get rid of the ninja once and for all, and have an army of the undead. Or at least have an army of the possessed, or I don't really know what you would call a zombie in that scenario. That would make sense to me. Then the ninja would have to team up together, defeat the overlord using their new golden dragon powers, and eventually use that same golden power, that same light energy, to completely wipe the entirety of Ninjago, turning everybody back to the good side. As was the case during the final battle, when Lloyd defeated the overlord for the very first time. The overlord using his dark matter to attempt to build an army of darkness, an army of shadows, and the ninja need to stop him using the light of golden power. I don't know, I just thought it was cool how zombies were mentioned here. I haven't really seen that be mentioned anywhere else in the Ninjago crystallized media, and maybe that's what the final battle of Ninjago crystallized will look like. The ninja versus literally everybody else. As I've said, it's going to have a lot in common with season two, and I'm curious to see what else these two seasons have in common once Ninjago crystallized actually gets released. So with that being said, you guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today. Just a quick video going over something that was said in the Ninjago set descriptions revolving around zombies. I think we're going to see something similar, but let me know down below in the comments what you guys think regarding all of that. What do you think the Crystal King or the Overlord? Lord's true plan is during this new Ninjago season. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and as always, check out the links down below in the description for other forms of social media. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Once again, you guys, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.